I'm a product design engineer um, and I worked for a number of uh, large corporations designing products for them. Um, my role mostly entailed uh, taking things from concept all the way to the market, including everything from the user manual to the product design to uh, website and uh, marketing material. Uh, I very quickly realised that I could take a product from concept to the market in, as an individual uh, and therefore I thought that I would start a company to do that for myself. Three D printing has enabled me to share my passion for making things with my friends. In the past, uh, talking about the way you like to construct and make and design things has been a bit of a geek subject. But three D printing has now enabled me to talk openly about my love for making and constructing and designing objects, because I can prove those and pass those objects on to people as a real object. While I was working for another design consultancy, I was looking for a product that had batteries and motors in it, and these were the most expensive components in the product. Uh, I was looking in the Far East for a manufacturing company that had good buying power in these two components, uh, when my good friend Kenneth introduced me to a company that developed power tools. They were looking for ideas for power tools, so I very quickly drew the Parate Workshop, uh, one of our core products, on the back of a uh, piece of paper for them. Um, and moved on with my current design. Uh, that later became one of our leading products, which has now been produced for over seven years. One of the things that Cell required is a, a manufacturing suite. Um, this is mostly done in the Far East at the moment with a, the most cost-effective me mechanisms out there. I partnered with a guy called Kenneth Tam who helps me manage and deploy all of my designs through manufacturing in China. So the way that I've been using rapid prototyping and my engineers have been using rapid prototyping in the past means that we often have to do a model to very high detail um, and be really sure that we want to get that part prototyped because the lead time and the cost is very high. Uh, that normally gets sent out to a bureau and then a number of weeks comes back to us as a finished model. If we've made a mistake on that design or if the design intent was wrong from the beginning, then it's normally we have to scrap and start all over again. With 3D printing, we're able to, to print out discrete components of the design, test those parts at a very low cost, and then integrate them into the whole design, and then finally build prototypes of the final model on our desktops. When we started to use 3D printers, um, it was for internal use only. We were trying to make the design process more cost effective internally. We very quickly realised that 3D printers on the market at the moment 
really didn't achieve what we wanted them to achieve. They were difficult to use, very time consuming to use, and in fact my engineers and myself were spending more time trying to make the printers produce something than actually getting the end results. That's when we started to modify and change the design of the 3D printers that we had in-house, and that's where Robox came to life. In the past, we've used uh, 3D printing and rapid prototyping to make full assembly models of our products. Uh, with 3D printing, it's so quick and easy that we can model very small components and very discrete sub-assemblies to test those. We also use 3D printing to print things around the office, like jigs and fixtures, tools, which normally we wouldn't spend on outside bureaus because of the high cost.